Welcome to the Utunity Real-Time RMS Data Replication Solution. My name is Richard Thomas, Director of Technical Services at Utunity, and I'll be your host during this video. Today we want to learn about RMS CDC, how to enable it, and we're going to take our RMS data and doing real-time change data capture, we're going to put that information into a relational database. Today we're going to use SQL Server. This will enable you to have real-time reporting, business intelligence, modernizing, moving uh, your applications with little to no impact to your VMS system. We've created log-based. The idea being is using the RMS intercepts, kernel-based coding, we are creating log files with no impact to your existing applications. Working with your COBOL copybooks, for example, we set up the metadata, can work with arrays. This is a very flexible way to work with many different types of VTL tools. Today, we'll use SQL Server Integration Services. A little bit about the architecture, whether it's Alpha or Itanium, we install on the VMS box, and we create and work with the RMS intercept that is non-intrusive to your existing apps. We have a logger, router, CDC agent, and all of this information then can be directed towards your uh, target relational database, possibly put onto a JMS publisher. Looking specifically at what we're going to show today is we're working with SQL Server Integration Services. We have a package uh, wizard builder along with services all running under Visual Studio, or in this case also known as Business Intelligence Developer Studio. And we have a small console to show all the changes. And this is what we're going to look at today. So let's jump right to the demo. What I want to do first is bring up my VMS box. Over here, I want to kind of cycle through the things I'm going to do. I can take a look at the system. You can see that the logger is up running with a bunch of other components used to work with the solution, all of our batch jobs that were used to do the bulk load. We'll take a look at that today. This is the actual status of the intercept. We've been working through and processing over 80. 98,000 changes. And this is a list of the actual RMS files we're tracking today. You actually go in here and register each file that you're interested in. Once it's set up, it's ready to go. We're now going to jump over to our ETL tool. We're going to come in here, go through the wizards like we talked about. First, we're going to configure the services. So this is the VMS box. This is on the VMS box, and we support clustering where the changes will be found. Now we're going to go ahead and register and start the CDC services. So again, it's wizard-based, and we're going to have a, so a selection of RMS files to choose from. I've gone ahead and pre-selected four. We're going to continue working with those. These are the actual commands that you feed into the logger to tell it what files you want to work with. And let's go ahead and deploy this. So we're going to go ahead and start deploying this solution. We're going to activate it and finish it up. So this is the first step of creating all of those services that I depicted in those PowerPoint. The next thing I'm going to want to do is actually generate the CDC packages. Again, stepping through a wizard, I've picked my target database, which is SQL Server. I've mapped and determined I want to take these RMS files, when changes happen to them, and put them into the equivalent tables on a SQL Server database. I'm going to give it a um, package that I'm going to put it in. We'll just take the default. We're going to actually recreate everything. And we're going to go create that. Now, as we're creating these processes, what we're going to need to do is we're going to do the full load, and then we're going to do changes. Once these things are done, we hit the finish. We go to the full load. We've got a data flow that we're going to go through. And let me go ahead and run that. Now, let's, while that's running, let me take you a look at what the goal is. Right now, we have a particular salesperson with a set of sales. I'm going to blow his sales way out of there. I want to see change. See, right now, everybody's kind of on an even playing field. This is a spreadsheet. So think of this as our business intelligence. This is our target database. We can go in here and execute that. We're going to be changing this row right here. We're going to inflate this value. So now that I've got the full load done, I've established that. I'm going to stop that. I'm going to bring up the CDC. We're going to make data flow through that. So let's jump back to our VMS box. Let's push some changes through this. We're going to raise the orders up. So I'm just scrolling through all of these. I'm going to make some changes go on there. 
ordered it up two times, and then I'm actually going to run a whole demo script that I've created ahead of time that's going to just put some changes on the system. We're going to take the, not separate from the sales orders, the nation, supplier, region, put all those kind of information in there. Let's go ahead and just cancel that and we'll stop it. Let's jump back to our ETL tool and let's push those changes through. Again, you could set this up on a loop and just have it run continuously. We're going to get these changes to go through there. We're going to see changes in the supplier. We'll see it in the order. We see 32 rows under nation. Now that's been put into the target. All of this data has been done. You see this number here. We re-execute the target database. We see that it's a much larger. We go to our BI. We refresh the data, refresh the pivot, see how it's changed dramatically. Now all of a sudden the salesperson is in the 40 million range of sales. This is a full turnkey solution. So let's kind of wrap that up. Completely offloaded for BI solution arm as changes, simplified for migration projects, low impact, nothing to do to your apps. Install the software in your VMS box. Use your tool of choice. Today we saw the Utunity fully integrated one. I want to thank you. To find out more information and get a more detailed demonstration, go to attunity.com. Please check back for more videos that we'll be posting continuously on YouTube. And thank you.